1126 in the South. Well, we know a thing or two about hot and sticky summers, but how do you protect yourself when the heat is just too much to handle? It's today's local health alert. The best thing to do is prevent it in the first place. As we reach peak summer temps here in the Mid South, healthcare professionals are urging everyone to take extra steps to prevent heat stroke and heat exhaustion. We sat down with Dr. Margaret Hardig with the University of Tennessee Health Sciences Center, who explained the difference between them a heat stroke. That's the first level, and that's when you're sweating and you are uncomfortable, you may be nauseous, you're going to be tired. Next, Heat exhaustion. The real problem is is the exhaustion because that means you've gone past the heat stroke and now you're dry. Meaning you have lost a lot of the liquid in your body, something you don't want to lose during extreme heat for fear of the long term effects like kidney damage. As you're getting dehydrated, your kidneys have to work harder and then they've pretty quickly shut down. To avoid getting to this point, Dr. Hardick says drink plenty of water and avoid caffeine. The caffeine helps get the fluids out of your body. It's a diuretic. You'll also want to wear loose fitting cotton clothing if you're going to be outside for long periods of time. And because of those high temps, the city of Memphis has opened a cooling center in the gym at the Bellevue Junior High School located on South Bellevue. That's open from 6 p.m. to 7 a.m. until tomorrow night. Plus, MLGW will not disconnect services for non-payment when the heat index is above 100 degrees.